I am Anna and today I am doing my paycheck one for January 2021 you guys we made it it is officially 2021 yes <laughs> yes yes I don't know I don't know what this year will bring but I'm hoping for all the good and positive vibes um and and I'm just glad that 2020 is is no longer here. I know, I know, before y'all say it, I know life isn't gonna automatically, you know, switch just because it's a different year, but I do feel a certain lightness to me today. So <laughs> let me know down below in the comments if you are feeling that same lightness that I am feeling today. Anyways. I am gonna go ahead and get into my numbers for my first paycheck of January, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. If you guys are into budgeting, planning, and the life, don't forget to hit that beautiful red subscribe button before you go and tap the bell so you're notified every time your girl uploads new content. So I'm gonna bring you guys in and we'll get into these numbers. And if you guys are wondering, this um, budget kit is from the lovely Romina Rosa, who is actually Romina Vasquez here on YouTube. I feel, I always call her Romina Rosa because I'm just used to her shop name. <laughs> she is Romina Vasquez here on YouTube, you guys. Anyways, first up, as you guys know, is the heavy hitter, which is my mortgage. And it is due on the first. And it is always 1000 $372.51. So that is the mortgage. Next is my gas bill. And that is due on the 4th. And then I have Apple. And Apple is music and storage. And that is due on the 12th. And that is $12.98. All right, you guys. <laughs> My first paycheck looks like a little bit of a hot mess, so I apologize. But I completely forgot about this bottom part and started writing my cash envelopes here. So I had to white it out and fix the total. So I did total up my bills and expenses. I added an unbudgeted category here. Obviously there's no due date and no budget for unbudgeted. The total for my bills and expenses for paycheck one is $1,502.49. <sighs> Moving right along. Um, cash envelopes is next. So I have four cash envelopes, groceries, gas, beauty and spending, but for paycheck one, I actually only stuff two of them. And that is groceries and spending. So for groceries, I am gonna go ahead and budget $150. And for spending, I'm going to budget the same amount, which will bring my total in cash envelopes to three hundred dollars and then sinking funds i'm actually not doing so i'm just gonna write na no total there because sinking funds i only stuff once a month and it is with paycheck two that they get stuffed um so there is <laughs> my little bit of a messy paycheck one, but it's there and the numbers are there, so we're good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stuff, kind of stuff my cash envelopes with you guys. We're gonna check in on our cash envelopes. I did actually use some of my groceries cash envelopes, so unfortunately I can't really stuff it with you guys, but I will just check in and see where it's at at the moment, because I did, I tried to hold off on spending with it so that I could film this, y'all, but time was of the essence and I just could not get this filmed before going to the grocery store. So my apologies, but <laughs> we are going to check it on our cash envelopes. I'll give you numbers as well. So let me grab those. So groceries had a total of, if we go back to our December weekly check-in, So 
so groceries for December week four, which if you guys missed that video, I will go ahead and link it up in the cards for you guys. So I did have $82.58 left, and I do roll it over from paycheck one to paycheck two. So $82.58 plus the $150 that I contributed equals $232.58. So that's how much I had in my grocery cash envelope after um, stuffing it for paycheck one. Just flipping back to my first paycheck spread. Here we go. So now I'm gonna go over what I have left. So I actually did spend quite a bit in groceries. So I have that $232.58 left. I'm gonna subtract $61.97, which I spent at Aldi's and $13.98, which I spent at the liquor store because I needed a drink, drink. <laughs> and then $97.76, which I spent at Market Basket. So that leaves me with $58.87. That's what should be left in my groceries cash envelope. So let's go ahead and check it. So here is my groceries cash envelope. Of course, I always have change, as you guys well know. It's like the envelope that always has change. So I should have 58 here. So 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. And then I should have 87 cents here. So we've got 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 87. So we're perfect. We've got 5887 left in groceries. And you guys will see this again in week one, but since I'm not stuffing it with you guys, I just wanted to go over it um, with you. So groceries is all set. And just to check in on the rest of our envelopes, we have gas, which again has the 25 left then we have beauty which should have $40 left that's just from week four check-in we didn't contribute anything to that and if you guys caught my again week four check-in you know that I was over budget in spending so spending had nothing I did add the 150 for paycheck one spending is cashless so I don't have any cash to add to this it just kind of stays in my account since most of my purchases are happening electronically so okay so that is my first paycheck of January with all the numbers broken down and the status on my cash envelopes you guys I hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up before you go as it really does help support the channel thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye